It's October the 1st, y'all. Today is October the 1st, and it's family devotions. And every month, Dr. Stanley gives you something in the beginning. He said, worldly investments and retirement plans can be decimated in a moment. But as heirs with Christ, we have a heavenly inheritance that's being kept safe by God himself. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on a second. Over the first, our reading says, God's plan for giving is 1 Corinthians 16, 1 and 4. All of God's commands have good purpose, and that is certainly true when he tells us to give. It is one way he teaches his children to live as Christ did. Jesus was a giver. In addition to generously feeding the multitudes, healing the sick, and offering truth to everyone who would listen, he ultimately gave up his life on the cross to save all who would believe in him. In his first letter to the Corinthians, the Apostle Paul wrote, On the first day of every week, each one of you is to put aside and save, as he may prosper, so that no collections be made when I come. 16 and 2. This scripture contains two guidelines that can help us become the generous, generous people God wants us to be. Given is a Giving is a component of worship. When we gather together each Sunday, we have the privilege of giving back to the Lord part of what he has provided. In doing so, we are reminded of our dependence upon him and his faithfulness to us. This practice is a way of recognizing God's kindness, expressing our gratitude, and showing him honor. Number two, giving is best done systematically. If we don't purposefully plan to reserve a portion for the Lord, it will probably be spent on other things. Immediately setting a portion aside is a better way to honor our Heavenly Father than waiting and giving Him leftovers. Considering the greatness of our salvation and the continual blessings God showers us on, on, showers on us each day, we should delight in being open-handed givers. Generosity shows we're following in Christ's footsteps and demonstrating trust for him in a very practical way. I asked him on it through a friend and she was telling me that she was on a job and she had a college degree, uh, a master's actually. She said she was only making 26000 a year, but she was tithing faithfully. So at the end of the year, when she got a report, she'd actually given the church over $3,000. So you know, that's more than 10% of 26000 But anyway, so... Um, before, well, at the end of that year, uh, after she given a 3,000 ties, she had applied for this position and then she got it. And so she went from 26 to 44,000 the next year and now she's over 80. So, you know, um, when you say you open up the window and pour your blessing, sometimes it's not monetary. You know what? To me, peace is a blessing. But anyway, yes, I know, I think I may have shared with you all the story about my aunt gave her last $5 and the next day she got 5000 um, so, you know, um, there are a lot of, um, people who don't believe in tithing and I, you know, you, you're right to your belief, but, um, I, I just feel like, um, in order to receive, you have to give. So today is October the 1st. It's the beginning of a new month. Let's be prosperous. Let's be successful. Let's be open-minded. Let's be honest. Let's be kind, compassionate. Have a good day.